Here at Monument Valley High School, students are not only pursuing careers in agriculture, they're living them. It's a place where agriculture meets with technology, culture meets innovation, and one man's dream finally comes to the crossroads of reality. In Cayenta, Arizona, we were able to see the grand opening of the new AgriScience Center. Let's go take a look at the new facility. The Monument Valley chapter was founded in 1968, um, added veterinary science in 2003. Um, we have currently um, three to 400 students enrolled in our agriculture program with seven different classes a day. And today we had the grand opening of our new facility. It all started in a pretty interesting story. When I came up and was teaching here, I had a student with a horse with colic. He called me up and says, Mr. McBride, I have a horse down, can you help me? We went out, we took care of it, um, horse was fine. A few days later, another student came in and then it kind of spread like wildfire and I found that that's where the kids' interest was. They needed somebody up here. Our nearest vet is over two hours away and they needed somebody up here to, to be able to take care of their livestock. So what better opportunity is to teach the students to take care of their own? And we started out with mainly large animals, but then we attracted a whole different set of students when we started doing dogs and cats. And so we incorporated the small animal as well. And then it just kind of grew and blossomed from there. Well, our Ag Advisors make up what the chapter is. Without them, we wouldn't even have a program. I'd first off talk about Mr. McBride. He's, so, he's had such a phenomenal part in this whole chapter. He's the one who started the vet science. He's been here for, I think, 20 years. Um, he got this building built. Um, what started off as a dream is now true. It took 20 years to come true, but here it is. And Mrs. McBride, his wife, she's his better half. <laughs> Teaches a majority of the ad classes. She's a very hard worker. She's probably more of the reason why this ad program exists. Mr. and Ms. McBride taught me a lot because it teaches how to handle the livestock, the sheep, the cows, the cats, the horses, and most schools on the reservations don't um, teach you how to handle it properly. Um, they, just, they just give you instructions out of a book. So here you get hands-on experience and they tell you how to do it. They, they have you do it, then they ask, then they tell you what you're doing wrong, then you redo it all over, then you, they just help you get ready. We have a total of 10 rooms, I believe, a regular classroom where we spend most of our time. And the next room is our small animal prep room suite. It has 11 kennels. In the next room, we have a small animal surgical room, um, real veterinary tables, surgical lights, everything, an autoclave machine to clean our tools. In the next room we have a large animal surgical room. We have a harness where we pick up large animals if we need to. In the next room we have a whole padded room dedicated to our large animal recovery. Upstairs we have two classrooms overlooking the surgical rooms. We also have a dirt arena and a concrete area. Our dirt arena is mostly is what we would use to, like for show practice when students show sheep. Our concrete area holds a Silencer Squee Shoot. It's one of a kind, the only one in Arizona, Four Corners area. I wouldn't go anywhere else. I love teaching the students here on the Navajo Nation. I think that they have a great way of life. They're, they're back to the basics. And um, agriculture is the roots, it's the foundation of who they are and their culture and their traditions.